in the diagram, BD and AD intersect at C and AB is equal to BC. Also, angle ABC is 40, angle DCE is X. What is the value of X? Well, if this is indeed an isosceles triangle, which is denoted by those two symbols, then this angle and this angle will be equal. So let's just call them Y and Y. So that means that Y plus Y plus 40 is equal to 180. So therefore, 2Y is 140, and therefore, Y is 70. Now, this angle Y and this angle X are opposite each other, and since they're opposite, they're equal. X is equal to Y, so therefore, X would be equal to 70. There are 12 different four-digit positive integers that can be made arranging the digits 1, 2, 7, 7. These integers are listed from smallest to largest. What is the sum of the 6th and 7th? 6th and 7th. So I'll just start with the largest. Tw how many are there going to be? 12. Okay. So I'll do the largest one, and then I'll kind of go down. At, let's see here. 8, 7, 6. So I'm only interested in this guy and this guy, right? Okay. Well, the largest one, obviously, we'll start with the 7. Basically, you're putting the largest numbers first, so that's p probably most likely the largest number. And then the second largest would be just interchanging those two. Then the third largest, instead of the 7, we're going to put the next biggest number, which is 2, and then 7, 1. And then the next one would be this 1, 7 guy. And then I think if we stick with the 7, we can get the 7th and 6th. We'll put a 1 there, and then let's see here. Uh, let me see if I'm doing this right. Yeah, and then a 7, 2. Uh, and then... I make sure I'm matching these accordingly. And the seventh one would therefore be 7, 1, 2, 7. And then now I've exhausted the 7, so I think for the first digit, I've got to move down to the 2. So then if I do that, then it would be 7, 7, 1. So if you carefully kind of rank them, this would be the ranking, I believe. And they want this, the 6th and the 7th, the sum of those two. And the sum of those two, 7, 1, 2, 7, plus 2, 7, 7, 1 is 9, 8, 9, 8. 9, 8, 9, 8. In the 3 by 3 grid shown, each of the three symbols has a different value. The sum of the values of the symbols in each row is given to the right of that row. And the sum of the values of the symbols in each column is given below the ca that column. What is the value of x? Well, many ways of doing this. Um, we are basically being asked to add heart plus triangle plus square. I'll just use the letters to denote. That's what we want. So I, we, I guess we have to figure out the value of the heart, the value of the triangle, and the value of the square. So... Let's see, where do I want to go first here? Um, well, hmm, let's see here. Uh, how about this guy? The, this, this column, that's three triangles, and that equals 12. So that means one triangle is equal to four. Okay, so I got that four right there. That's pretty straightforward. And then I guess I can just use that fact to solve. Is there anything that has just triangles and something else? Um, let's see here. Mm. Yeah, this one. That's just the heart plus two triangles, so that equals 15. And since the triangle is equal to 4, that's going to be h plus 2 times 4 is 15. So that means h is 15 minus 8, which is 7. Okay, so I got that. And then now I just have to find s. Uh, let me just use this one here. 2 squares plus a triangle is 20. Triangle is 4, so that's going to be 20 minus 4, 16. S is 8. Okay, well, I got it. So that means X would be 19. Yumi has a flat circular chocolate chip cookie with radius 3 centimeters. On the top of the cookie, there are K circular chocolate chips, each with radius 0.3. No two chocolate chips overlap, and no chocolate chip hangs over the edge of the cookie. For what value of k is exactly one quarter 
of the area of the top of the cookie covered with chocolate chips. So, what I think they're saying uh, with radius three on top of the, on top of the cookie, there's two, each with no two chocolate cookies. Uh, exactly. Okay, I I think what they're saying, although it's not very clear. It's something like this. Uh, these chips are covering like that. Yeah, I th I think that's what they're saying, and they're attached to each other, and they're attached to the edge, because no two chocolate chips overlap, and no chocolate chips hangs over the edge. Okay, so what they're saying is that uh, one quarter of the area of the cookie is covered with chocolate chips. Okay. So, well, first let's figure out the area of the full cookie. Uh, that would be pi, the radius is 3, so 3 squared, so 9 pi is the area. And we want a quarter of that, so 9 pi divided by quarter, to equal the area of the K chocolate chips. So there's K chocolate chips, and each of them has an area of pi r squared, and the radius of each chocolate chip is 0 0.3. Okay, so I think that's the, the, that's the setup of this question here. So this would be 9 pi over 4. This would be k pi, what is that, 0 0.09. And then the pi's disappear. And then when you solve for this, this would be, I think, 100 divided by 4, which is 25 for k. Positive integers a, b, and C satisfy the equation 31 over 72 is equal to A over 8 plus B over 9 minus C. What is the smallest possible value of B? Smallest possible value of B. Okay, so first let's solve this equation for B. So 31 over 72 is A over 8 plus B over 9 minus C. So let's solve it so that just we just have B on one side like that if we can do that. So that would be 31 over 72 my, uh, let's see, a plus C and minus that A over 8. And then all you got to multiply the whole thing by 9, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can simplify this even more. Uh, hmm. Let's see how I can do that. Well, this would be 31 over 8. And that would be 9C. And that would be 9A over 8. And then if I put everything as a common denominator, it would be 31 plus 72C minus 9A all over 8. Okay, so that's pretty much, you know, the solving of B. But then we got to find an integer. Okay, so... To get the smallest possible value of b, we would need the smallest possible value of c, right? Because we're adding a c. Yeah, so let's start. What, what are these? These are positive integers. So the smallest possible value of c would be 1. Okay. And then, and then where do I go from there? Um... Hmm. Uh, okay, okay. And then uh, B, they're all positive. Okay, I got it. So this thing has to be positive up here. So that's we can figure out the starting point for A. Okay, so 31 plus 72 minus 9A has to be greater than 0. Okay, I got it. So we, we're going to be able to figure out what is the starting point for A. And then we can kind of plug these values in. So we got 31 plus 72 is 103 minus 9a. So that means 103 is greater than 9a. So that means a has to be less than 103 divided by 9. So a has to be um, less than 11.4. Okay, so that definitely helps. So we have to the, the we can only start with eleven, then go down from there. So that that definitely helps us. And then you just gotta crunch out the number. So if you put it in for for a equals eleven and c equals one, you're gonna get zero point five for b. 
Now, we need an integer for b, so we got to keep going here. Okay, let's go down to 10. And we, when we do, we get 1.6. Number 9 for a, we get 2.7. If we get 8 for a, you get 3.8. If you get 7 for a, you get 5. And there you go. 5 is the answer for the smallest possible value of b. In the diagram, six squares form a 2 by 3 grid. The middle square in the top row is marked with an R. Each of the five remaining squares is to be marked with an R, S, or T. In how many ways can the grid be completed so that it includes at least one pair of squares side by side in the same row or the same column that contain the same letter? Well, the R is fixed, so we have one, two, three, four, five other uh, boxes, and each box can be either an R, S, or T. So each box has three choices. So since there's five boxes, they'd be three times three times three times three, which is three to the power of five possible variations, and that's 243. This is the total, total number of combinations. But they have given us a specific condition. They want, in how many ways, can the grid be completed so that it includes at least one pair of squares side by side in the same row or column that contain the same letter? So what? that's a lot. So I think it's faster to count when there's no pair of side by side uh, squares that have the same... Uh, that have the same letter. I think that's a much smaller list. And then what we can do is subtract that from the three, 243. Yeah. And then that would give us the answer to the question. Okay, so let's do that. So the first, I think, case is, uh, let's see here, we got an R here. And we start off with S's and then C. Yeah, because mm, yeah, the S's there's the different variations, right? There's the, the S's can go there, or you can have uh, T's go there, and then you can have uh, another variation, which would be S and T. And then the last one, I think, would be T and S. Yeah, like that. And I think that would pretty much give us all of them. I'm just trying to think. Yeah. Now, each of these is going to have a lot of, a lot of uh, different ways of doing it. So I've got to figure this out. So let me just list them. R, R, S, R. That's one. S R S R S R S R S R S T S R T T S R S R S T S R and then S R S T S T. So this takes this basic structure and then adds. Well, you go here, 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 and to make sure that no pair of squares that are side by side have the same letter. And I think we've achieved that here. So this gives us six. Now for this guy, it's the same. The only thing is what 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 is up here, you whatever is there, you just change the S to a T, and whatever is up there, you change the T to an S. But the the, the way to do it would be the same. For this guy. I think uh, it'd be a little bit different. R T R S R T R T S S R S R T R. So this is just going to be three, and then for this, I think it will be the same as these. The only difference is you would wherever there's a T up there, you change it to an S, and wherever there's an S, you change to a T, and that would give me another three. So the grand total is this 6, this 6, that 3, and that 3. So that's 18. Now, 18 is not the answer, of course, because 18 is this. 
So we've got to take the 243 and subtract from it the 18 to get what they're asking us for. And that would be 225.